What up, everybody? Instructor Beats back again. And with an instructive shorts, we are just going to do two example problems involving exponents with decimal bases. And hopefully you can learn a little bit through our two example problems. Let's dive right in. So first of all, we know an exponent is repeated multiplication. So our two up here is telling us that we're going to be multiplying four tenths times itself twice, right? So really what we are doing is four tenths times four tenths, right? Now there are two different ways to do this. So I'm going to draw a little line down here. One of them is to leave it as a decimal and just multiply using our decimal knowledge. So I have two decimal places right here. I'm going to set that and forget it. And then I know that four times four equals 16. And because I had two decimal places, that means I just need to move my decimal over back twice, one, two. And so your answer would be 16 hundredths. The other way is to know that decimals are also fractions. So we can turn this into four tenths times four tenths. And just like you would multiply decimals normally, four times four is 16. 10 times 10 is 100. And so I have 16 hundredths right here. Both of these are the same. This is a decimal form. That's the fraction form. Let's take a look at another example. So here I have six hundredths and I'm actually cubing it, which means I'm going to raise it to the third power. So really what I'm saying is six hundredths times six hundredths times six hundredths. So again, over here, if I did this using my, I'm going to rewrite this actually to make it a little bit um, easier to visualize. Okay. And so if I want to combine these two right here, right, I actually, I have one, two, three, four decimal places. Then I'm going to cross out my decimal, right? I'm putting my four over here to help me remind that I need four decimal places. Six times six is 36, but then you need to move your decimal place over, put it back in four places. So one, two, let me show it. One, two, three, four, which means your answer is going to be 36 ten thousandths oh, so for that one. Now, right, I need to multiply it again because I was cubing it, not squaring it. So right here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six decimal places. And I know over here, if I just do my normal whole numbers, six times six is 36, six times three is 18, plus three would be 216. So I have 216 if I ignored my decimal and if I just did 36 times six, but now I need to move it over six places. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, and I need to add my three zeros right here. So if I cube six hundredths, my answer is going to be decimal zero, 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 two, one, six, which would be tenths, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. It would be 216 millions, right? And so now if I do it with a fraction, right? I have six hundredths times six hundredths times six hundredths, right? And I know that six times six is 36. 100 times 100 would be 10,000, right? So same thing I got for this step, but then I need to multiply it by another 600. And so when I multiply 36 times six, I'm going to get 216. And then I'm going to add two more zeros here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And so your answer is going to be 216 millions, right? So same answer, but I got this one with the fraction. I got that with the decimal. Either way is fine. Whatever you feel more comfortable with. Let's take a look at one more example. So here I have one in two tenths cubed. Now, down as 12 tenths. Um, and I guess actually I could do that, but I'll do it with my decimal first. So I'm going to do rewrite it. So one and two tenths times one and two tenths times one and two tenths. Okay. I know I have one, two decimal places here. Set and forget it. 12 times 12 is 144, but then I need to move it back in one, two place values. So one and two tenths times one and two tenths is one and 44 hundredths. Okay, and then I need to multiply it again because I'm cubing it. So I've already squared it. I need to cube it, do one more. And so I have one, two, three place values this time over here. 
And if I do 144 times 12, right? So I mean, now I'm ignoring the decimal. I'm just going to multiply it. I have 882, cross out, add your 0, 4, 4, 1. Regroup as always. And my answer is 1,728, except I need to put my three decimal places back in. 1, 2, 3. And 1 and 2 tenths cubed is actually going to be 1 and 728 thousand. So if I did it with fractions, right, I know that if I have 1 and 2 tenths, that really means I have 12 tenths. Okay, again, 12 times 12 is 144. 10 times 10 is 100. The exact same thing I got right here. I'm going to multiply that again by 12 tenths. I know my denominator is going to be a thousandth, and then 144 times 12, I already figured out. So my answer would be 100, uh, sorry, 1,728 thousandths, which then if you wrote it as a mixed number, would be 1 and 728, well, sorry, that's not a mixed number. Um, 1 and 728 thousandths. Right? So either one, you get the same answer, but you can either turn it into decimals or fractions, whichever one you feel more comfortable with that's going to help you visualize it.